Hello and good morning. Today let us look at Leo Lagna and the fifth bhava Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a fiery dual sign with the ninth house from the Kala Purusha or the ninth Rashi from the Kala Purusha. The ninth Rashi stands for Dharma, thus all the Karatattvas of the fifth bhava is measured with the yardstick of Dharma. Since Sagittarius falls in the ninth bhava from the Kala Purusha or ninth Rashi from the Kala Purusha that is Aries, the bhava stands for Dharma. Therefore, all the activities of the fifth bhava which is from the Lagna Leo is measured with an yardstick of Dharma. The native cannot be corrupted, will take everything serious, has a sense of importance, is an independent spirit is what B. V. Raman has described Sagittarius and is dynamic, forceful, aspiring and inspiring. Now, let us look at the emotions of the fifth bhava of the Leo Lagna. It is not dharmic to be loud, angry or even unhappy. Most Leo Lagnas are pleasant and not very loud, have a calm upper crust. Even if they are boiling inside, unhappy or sad. Remember that Leo is the king of the Kala Purusha. Since the king cannot show his emotions unless until there are malefic influences, the neo Leo natives are non -emo or seem to be non-emotional or hard-hearted. They follow the path of justice in all their actions. Education. Most Leo natives make good managers since they have a tight control on their opposition on their emotions sorry the opposite person will not be able to read what the native is thinking they also make good surgeons if they have good planetary supports leo, leo natives also have a confidence within themselves that they cannot be wrong children or purva punya sagittarius is a semi fruitful sign thus there is a delay in children but since it is a jupiterian sign falling as the fifth house the native will have children and the children will be good and will follow the path of dharma rahu and ketu rahu and ketu in sagittarius are the spoilers the dharmic native will have to do a lot of soul searching to remain within the dharmic parameters of life since Rahu is an instigator or a, a or a planet of uh, illusion, a planet of imaginary things, a planet of shadowy things, he kind of spoils the fifth house for the Leo natives. The natives are confused, they have no direction in life, be it in career, be it in education or even in emotions. The native is does not have a control in life might be the right word to tell. They take different courses and there will be incomplete courses. Unless Jupiter is strongly placed in the chart, Rahu will create a havoc in the native's life. Leo natives generally have late children if Rahu is placed in the 
fifth house. Ketu in the fifth house in Sagittarius makes the native very religious and accepts the changes in life for what they have. They have early children. Now let us read the chart. The fifth bhava is in Rahu Ketu axis. Saturn aspects the fifth house. Fifth Lord Jupiter is placed in the twelfth house. Jupiter is in Leo in the Navamsha chart. Therefore, let us look at the results. Emotions. The native has strong control on emotions and is soft spoken. Saturn's aspect with Rahu in the fifth house makes natives elusive and cannot be judged. Jupiter's placement in the twelfth from the Lagna and eighth from the fifth house shows a very calm quiet native jupiter in leo lagna is another indication where the native will whether the native will express his desires or will not accept his desires the education the native will change courses in education as the fifth lord is in the 12th house aspected by mars and saturn e an indication that native will have breaks in education. The dasha during this period will give us the true results. Children, Rahu in the fifth house and an exalted fifth lord is a promise. But since the fifth lord is placed in the twelfth house, there is a kind of doubt and Rahu is a delayer for children run even though in some of the charts we say rahu will give early children rahu in sagittarius spoils the fifth house and the karatatvas of the fifth house unless the dasha buktis give us an indication whether the native will have early children or delayed children in the next slide, let us look at the Dasha Bhuktis for education and children. Thank you. Hope this video has been helpful. Like, share and subscribe. Follow me at G3Astro. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Signing off, Gayatri.